Hello users and welcome to another episodic installational incremental episode of Above It All, the series in which I I don't think I've talked about Mike Bloomberg yet. I've been trying not to, but this one I feel like I, I kinda have to in a way. Um so just gonna start this out here. Michael Bloomberg, garbage can man, pure dumpster sludge. If this guy just suddenly disappeared tomorrow, the universe would be probably at least 64% better. And that's just, it's just math. Yang gang back me up here. But here's um interesting, very interesting clip of, uh, of Michael Bloomberg talking about how trans people are icky and gross, basically. So I'm gonna let this play and let's get this started. If you think about it, we, the intelligentsia, people who could make it into this room, um, we believe in a lot of things in terms of equality and protecting individual rights that make no sense to the vast bulk of people. They're not opposed to you having some rights, but there's a fundamental disconnect between us believing the rights of the individual come first and the general belief around the world, I think it's fair to say, that the rights of society comes first. And so, um, I don't know how many are familiar with the uh, the bathroom issue in, in, in the United States, anybody? The fucking bathroom issue, you know fucking issue. If you want to know is somebody a good salesman, give them the job of going to the Midwest and picking a town and selling to that town the concept that some man wearing a dress should be in the locker room with their daughter. If you can sell that, you can sell anything. I mean, and note that everyone in the room is laughing. And they just look at you and they say, what on earth? Is okay, so here's the thing that's super bizarre here is like, like, Duh, this is a stupid fucking issue. Anyone who's watching this video, if you don't like transgender people, if you have like a, oh, but, uh, you know, I like transgender people, but, <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. You can jump off a cliff and have a good time falling down. It's bizarre. First of all, gendered bathrooms and locker rooms, weird. Super weird stuff. I don't understand why society in general is just so... <gasps> Oh, my precious daughter! Oh. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, it's a bathroom. First of all, my preferred bathroom, if every bathroom were just like, you know, like the in the small coffee shops where you have the, the bathroom key and you go in and it's like just one one toilet and it's like unisex or whatever, that's, that's how bathrooms should be. It should be private. No one else should be there. I don't under... Like, like the thing is, like, we have bathrooms the way they are now and no one thinks, oh, maybe we should just change them. Like, like you, it's so easy to do. It's so easy to just change the way bathrooms function to avoid this whole issue to begin with. But that being said, why the flying fuck would somebody spend years of their lives being a persecuted minority that has been like getting murdered like the murder rates of transgender people have skyrocketed over the past four or five years why would someone put themselves through that just so they could go to the bathroom and like look at a nine-year-old wash their hands for three seconds like it's bizarre it's fucking bizarre like, and this whole thing was like, oh, I think a salesman, oh, we the intelligentsia, how oh, oh, is it gonna be, oh, like, it's bizarre bullshit, it's super bizarre. Keep in mind, this is the people that, like, MSNBC and CNN are like, oh, Mike Bloomberg is a good guy, you know, he's gonna go get yeah, Mike, you know what I'm saying, like, bizarre shit, Twilight Zone level garbage, so let's keep playing. What are you talking about? And you say, well, this person identifies his or her gender as different than what's on their birth certificate. And they say, what, what do you mean? You're either born this or you're, or you're born that. Um, and, you know, I will say in our prison system in New York City, we have to have the policy. When you walk in, you know, drop your trousers, you go this way, you go that way. That's it, because you can't sit there and you can't mix things in a jail. That's a practical case of where you have to make a decision. What? I Like, again, uh, it's super bizarre. It's so bizarre. Wh what the fuck? Like, w I, really, what the fuck? Like, it, 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 
it's a, it's a, like, this is like a billionaire oligarch, right? He's got like $60 billion, one of the most powerful people in the country, if not the world. And he's as stupid as a fucking sixth grader when it comes to this shit. Like, it, it's unbelievable. Oh, go drop your trousers! I had no relevance whatsoever. It does not impact, like, you know, like, if someone has sexual reassignment surgery. Like, that, that doesn't... It, where's, where's that factor in? Like, this whole boiling down of trans people to, oh, it's just... It's a man in a dress, you know? It, it, like, it's, it's literally... Again, that, it's just bizarre. Why would someone spend five years of their lives, like taking medicine to alter their body why would they get like major surgery just so they can like ooh, just and then at the end of it all i'm gonna rob a coffee shop get sent to prison and then i'll get to go to the like wh- what like what what on earth like seriously what on fucking planet motherfuck bizarre shit but it's so many things that we are nuanced and um, the issue, the social issues that we're very proud of, uh, of achieving, aren't believing, aren't believed by the vast bulk of the people. And bizarre, like bizarre, like it's one thing to say, yeah, there's a significant population out there that are just stupid. They're as stupid, if not more stupid than Mike Bloomberg. Like if you watch the video I did on the fucking, on the, the, the Iowa caucus person who was like, I didn't know Pete but fuck was gay. <laughs> Can I get my vote back? I don't want to vote for him now that I know. Like, yeah, sure, there are bigots out there. Duh. Like, does that mean we should cater to them? Just because they have no, like, they've not read a science textbook in 60 fucking years and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about? Why should, why should we let some hick hillbilly cocksucker dictate what we do with medical science? Why should we let them dictate? Like, like it, this is like the whole, like, it goes back down to, like, the state's right. Yeah, 51% of the population wants to enslave 49%. There's nothing wrong with it. States rights, you know, like, like the whole point of the federal government in this particular like section of, of, of time in history is to pr- like is to provide protections and rights to the marginalized. It started with Reconstruction and it went on to women's suffrage and it will continue to protect the marginalized. That's why I'm in favor of having a federal government in the year 2020, maybe even in the year 2021, maybe even in the year 2022, because at this current point in human history, we still haven't reached like a utopian, like bigot-free society. That's the goal, of course. That's what we're trying to strive for. But we haven't reached that. So, like for for Mike Bloomberg to just say, like, well, you know, most people don't care about trans people, so I guess we shouldn't do anything. It's just bizarre. It's fucking bizarre. And again, if you if you have any sort of but, oh, I mean, I like trans people, but oh, the bathrooms in my like, then you can like again short walk or a long walk off a short pier just get the fuck out of here like this is like again and mainstream media is touting this and again the the same people that are like mike bloomberg very intelligent individual is super good very nice like those same people were like (gasps) joe rogan endorsed bernie sanders and joe rogan said that trans people shouldn't be in sports and i am so transphobic like the same people the same fucking people it's bizarre it's fucking cringy and i just jesus christ it's cringe it's cringe this is cringe i'm cringing also ugh, quick announcement if you have any questions for me, I'm doing a new series called The Grab Bag. It's going to be a Q&A series, so if you have any burning questions, there is no particular you know, subject. It doesn't have to be about politics. It doesn't have to be about social issues or medicine or biology. It can be about what my favorite fucking pizza topping is. I'm not going to tell you now. If you want to know, you got to ask it. I'm going to do a new series. Once I get en- enough questions, then I'll do the video. But if you have anything you want to ask me, let me know in the comment section. Just say, I have a question. This is for the grab bag. Please respond. A lot of the times when people ask me things, there are some, you know, maybe not personal questions, but questions that would involve typing out more than a sentence. Usually when I reply to things, I'm not in the mood to type out essays. I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't like typing out essays. It's a waste of my goddamn time. So if you have anything you want me to respond with, that's more than an essay. And even if it's less than an essay, like again, if you want to know what my favorite lunch meat is, hit me up, say, I have a question for the grab bag. I'll do a video when I get a certain amount of them. And uh, thank you for watching. Holy shit.